Hey guys, welcome back to Reels In. This Friday, you guys saw me react to episode eight of WandaVision, and now you're getting an analysis on that same episode with my friend Connor. <laughs> this episode, I think, was so emotional. I just, it like, it like blew my mind half the time. You know, I was doing my reaction video and I was trying to like, you know, say some reactions, but just like three quarters of the time, my throat was just like closed, like shut. And I couldn't even say anything. Yeah. Next time I see you, I'm going to take some of your footage and then do a Isabel makes noises super cut. <laughs> <laughs> just like my little squeaks and screams. Because there was just so much that happened. Like this was, this was the big reveal episode. And considering how I felt for this one, I'm not ready I'm not ready for Friday. I'm not either. I feel like I feel like this whole season, like they've gotten through a lot of stuff, but I feel like they still have more, like a lot more stuff to get through before this season ends. Yeah. Allegedly <sighs> the last episode is almost an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one so. was like 47 minutes. So it was pretty long. Yeah. But it felt short because I've watched it like three times now. I know. And it, well, it's, they always it's feel short. so much happens and the pacing is like really good. Yeah. So. so speaking of this episode, let's start at the beginning. Something that I really liked um, was that, you know, the Marvel Studios like introduction turned purple for Agatha. <laughs> I thought that was a really neat little reference. I wonder though, if the, f- the intro for the final uh, episode th- this Friday will sort of be a-, a tribute to Wanda in some way, like with some graphics. I think um, it was just kind of alluding to that because it was starting off with the flashback. So it's just like, ooh, purple. Mm-hmm. Um, which was interesting to see a flashback. I just want to point one thing out. Can we appreciate that this show basically is about witches? Yeah, witches are in the MCU now. Well, I mean, they've, they've been in the MCU or... Kind of. They've kind of been in the MCU, but like this whole show revolves around witches. Yeah. <laughs> like super cool. Speaking of the, the flashback and, and witches, um, cause I, I know in the comics, like Agatha is uh, for all intents and purposes burned at the stake. But <laughs> what they did differently, I think in uh, WandaVision is that, you know, her coven was the one, you know, trying to kill her, basically her own mother. Well, it's it's the mother of the group, so it's like no, it's actually it's actually her mother. Oh, yeah, I think I forgot her first name, but I think it's my I think it's like Eleanor or something, but like it's something Harkness, so like that's her mother. Oh, I, I thought it was just like the mother of of those witches. No, yeah, I was confused at, at first, but I was watching some other videos, and they were like, yeah, it's her mother. <laughs> something I thought was interesting about that one scene, though, is that when they're all sort of like trying to you know kill her with their power I thought was kind of interesting and I this might just be like my own interpretation but the purple energy that seemed to sort of like like move out of her like involuntarily so I kind of wonder if there was sort of like another power source that was protecting her well it's also very black so it's like plagued almost or infected with some kind of negative power which I think is why they were trying to get rid of her because uh Mother said, uh, you can't be good. She's like, I can be good. You can't be good. I can be good. No, you cannot. The Latin words, I translated them, are roughly um, kill the monster of nature. Yeah. Which in itself, I think it's like interesting phrasing. Like, why did you put the nature part in there? It says, like, just kill the monster or, like, the traitor or something. Probably because, like, a lot of these heroes that we're, we're seeing a trend here that they have, like, natural power. It's just a matter of unlocking it. So they all had natural power. But by nature, she's a monster. She can't help it. Or she, she read some forbidden text, kind of like how Doctor Strange did to become uh, Sorcerer Supreme, but... It just corrupted her instead of helping her, I guess. Yeah. Also, another thing I found interesting is when her mom is like the final one standing and she like um, shoots her witch beam or whatever into her her heart. There's like a crown sort of forms um, on her head. 
And I think the crown is kind of, because I was looking, I didn't see any like symbolism to that in the comics really, like a, like for like a, a certain character. Uh, but I think whoever the strongest witch is, like power wise, gets the crown. And notice when Agatha defeated her mom, like she it was basically through like sucking the power out of her that like Agatha herself did not get the crown. So I think maybe Agatha's whole like motivation is getting enough power to finally the superior witch of the universe. Yeah. To finally be able to like, I guess, be worthy of like wearing that crown. And then immediately that flashback, which like I liked seeing the flashback, but I feel like there is more to the story than that. Cause you know, Agatha has been alive for literally forever you know so I feel like there's some years where you know I feel like important things may have happened and we're kind of missing them maybe unless it was one of those things where like obviously she's trying to figure out why Wanda is so powerful mm-hmm. and it could be one of those things where it's like it's not seen for generations it's one of those legends that that for whatever reason only comes around once in a blue moon yeah, I, th- I think it also might add to like the conflict that is obviously between um, Agatha and Wanda. Because I'm thinking that, and I sort of touched on this a bit earlier, that like I'm thinking that maybe Agatha may have had to like, you know, work hard all her life or has to had to constantly like seek power from other sources to kind of like become the most powerful. And obviously she desires to have power. And like in here, here Wanda is basically just you know, powerful because she is powerful, not because she's had to work hard for it or anything. Um, Like, because like Agatha even said, you know, Wanda's like skipped all the basic knowledge. Wanda doesn't even know what this basic knowledge is. She just has this like innate power inside of her. So to be fair though, she's also been exposed to a lot. So I feel a lot of times tragedy is what moves you forward. It's the only thing that moves you forward. So she lost both of her parents. And then she went through all that crazy with Hydra and was exposed to an infinity stone, Mm. which enhanced and unlocked her powers, which I guess we'll, we'll get to in a second. If you want to backtrack, because I'm I'm excited to talk about that because I had a catharsis. But at the time, I don't think Agatha knew about the infinity stone yet. So, so in Agatha's mind, this is a woman who is powerful because she is and not because she's like worked the way Agatha has. Well, she's wrong. <laughs> I, know, I, I know. Wanda's been through so much. Like she's literally been like depressed her whole life. Like poor Wanda. Also, did you see that bunny eat that cicada? It's so <laughs> hard to hate Agatha though. Like we talked about this off camera and you said it in your commentary. If you wanted us to hate Agatha, you shouldn't have cast Catherine Hunt. Because she's so, she's so hard to dislike, I think. Yeah. She just has this weird, like, evil charm. It's like, you can't help but be seduced by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, plus all the episodes leading up to this, like, you know, it's obviously, funny, they, yeah, yeah. And they didn't paint her out to be, like, this evil witch, you know? She's just, like, the nosy, funny neighbor. Yeah. But, like, bunnies are herbivores. So I have a feeling that this bunny is something... Well, she turned more. the cicada into a bird, too. Yeah, but when, oh. when she threw the bird back, it quickly transformed into, like, a cicada, and then it ate it, and it was gross, and you could hear it crunching. <laughs> also, when Agatha's talking to Wanda in her little, like, dungeon thing, she said that she could sense the power of the Hex, and so my question is, where is Doctor Strange, who has literally the same ability? I have no idea. Well, keep in mind, it's also only been like a couple weeks since the snap. So everybody's probably still getting used to stuff. Because this happened when she created it. It's only been like two weeks. Yeah, he's like the Sorcerer Supreme. You'd think that have, that would have a lot He's made mistakes before, obviously. Yeah. So I don't know if there are other things that he's trying to do. And they'll probably explain that in Doctor Strange too. True, yeah. Also, I made a connection, I think, with... um, this episode and last episode. So we get a visual of like what happens to, uh, I guess, Agatha's victims when she like sucks the the power or essence or whatever out of them. Um, did you notice that yogurt commercial 
literally the exact same happens to the kid who's trying to open up the yogurt and he's like growing older and eventually he's just like a skeleton. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that was not Wanda, as it that or it was subconscious. Yeah. Or if that was meant to represent what Agatha is doing, like to her, probably. Yeah. yeah. Cause she's losing control, she's getting exhausted, but there's one thing that's common that she's been so self-aware and she's probably been using her powers the entire time and she's not helping Wanda at all obviously mm-hmm. so the tv shows though I uh I didn't necessarily call all of them some of them because my mother watched the first two episodes by herself and then she's like oh yeah this is like this in the Dick Van Dyke show and I'm mm-hmm. like and when she put in the DVD and she started putting in the other, um, the other DVDs, I'm like, I knew it. I knew it was this one. I knew it was this one. Um, this one, somebody else pointed it out. It was pretty obvious. So that was like kind of exciting to be able to put those pieces together. Mm-hmm. Overall, I've been putting a lot of pieces together. <laughs> I rewatched pretty well episodes three up until eight. So I kind of watched them cohesively, which also goes to your, Um, constant question is it going to be good to just watch the whole thing and I'm thinking yes I would definitely say it's getting rewatchable but Mm -hmm. yeah when when the when she goes through that door and like and then like the all the sitcoms were like showed I like my heart literally broke and and the music that was sad and it just like added to like the emotion of it and I I was gonna see it Hmm? I knew we were gonna see it too yeah, I I wasn't sure if it was going to be like like that was the reason why like Wanda had picked uh sitcoms, but like it, it makes sense like you know that was like something that like made her happy, you know, it was just like watching all these sitcoms. So after everything she's been through, like she'd want to be like go back to that happiness, you know. Yep. Also, when Wanda's mom puts like her hand over the um her eyes, it's referenced in episode 1 of this series with the, like the Sokovian greeting that like vision and makes oh, like a joke out of. I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> and then the beds in that, uh, in the Dick Van Dyke show as they're watching it is like well, episode yeah, three. Frame. And then Brady Bunch. Mm-hmm. Cause uh, again, my mom was watching episode three and she's like, yeah, the, the set, the set is the almost the exact same. This is like carbon copy. Yeah. And then um, when the Stark missile lands, the blinking red light and the sound is also the Ugh. same as the Stark toaster in the very first commercial we ever got. Well, that's like his trademark. It made me so mad that it was Stark. And I, yeah. we always knew that, but it was like a friendly reminder being like, Tony Stark is the reason for everything that she has been through. If you trace it back to this moment, but to go back to a different point that, we were, that I was making earlier, that she's always had her powers. Used to probability hex. No. Mm-hmm. Kind of like I, th- I think Monica also has always had her powers. And I noticed that in episode three, she was the only one who could see the energy field. Mm-hmm. Nobody else could. So she probably has had them for a while. And then going through the hex three times. <laughs> is, you know, Third time's of, the charm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But like, Wanda and Pietro both always had their powers they just needed the exposure the right the right Mm -hmm. do you think Pietro was also like some sort of like like witch or Wiccan or do you think he just had like separate powers I I think he had just different powers okay judging by the twins Billy Mm -hmm. and Tommy I think it's just in the in the in their genes or whatever Mm -hmm. also I am someone in my comments uh, from my reaction video, I think talked about um, there is a, a like a sort of like a, a book in the MCU. It's like a, it's like an in world book basically, and it's about like the technology of the Avengers. I think I haven't read it. Mm-hmm. I just kind of read like an overview of it, but I think inside of it, it says that like um, Hydra wanted Sokovians because they had different like genes than the rest of like the people on earth. But I thought that was an interesting uh, statement. So yeah, we got a confirmation that, you know, Wanda has had powers and Hydra basically just like enhanced them. But I, I sort of noticed it was sort of like the Mind Stone chose Wanda and it, it chose to present like the Scarlet Witch to her. Oh, when she was exposed. 
Yeah. So I, for some reason, completely forgot that her powers came from the Mind Stone. So like I said, I, I had come to all these like catharses watching this the first and second time because I've, I've watched it twice now. Mm-hmm. And um, I completely forgot that her powers came from the Mind Stone. So that's why she has this connection with Vision. That's why she was able to bring him back mm-hmm. because she is in a way probably an extension of the Mind Stone. And I just like... It, it's such like a little thing, but it's so big at the same time. And I'm like, how can I be so cavalier? How can I look through this? <laughs> Her powers come from the Mind Stone. This is why everything is the way that it is. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, I'm I think so mesmerized. a lot of people forgot it. I'm so mesmerized too by that whole scene mm-hmm. of her just like looking into the stone and like unlocking it out of uh, its little coating from Loki's scepter. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then people have been exposing the image, like they've been changing the exposure on the image, and it's very clear that that is Wanda, and it was like a vision of her future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, the the Scarlet Witch or Wanda um, in the yellow light is wearing her uh, tiara, um, and I think her that's crown. her crown. And I think that's what Agatha may want, since she didn't get it from her mother because she's not powerful enough. But we also see some of the costume in, in the, um, like the promo posters and stuff where they have the TV and they have like part of this costume, part of that costume, part of that costume. You can't see my hands are down here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. And we've seen um, some of it. So it'll be interesting if by the end of the series, you know, we finally see her in her real costume. Yeah. Do you think she'll like sort of like morph into it or do you think she's going to like, like grab some clothes from like her like closet and just throw she'll them She'll probably unlock it. Not <laughs> as spontaneously as the Hex, which I was right about. Yeah. <laughs> which I was right about. I like that it was spontaneous that she just kind of had this emotional moment and lost complete control and literally just went like this and exploded into the Hex. I know. Well, Her poor spine. She's always bending backwards. Oh my god. Yeah. To release. She must, have, she must have done like yoga when she was a kid. <laughs> so basically, what I think really hurts most is that Agatha is making Wanda relive all of these moments. And these are obviously like they're tragic, but also very like pinpoint moments in her life. I don't know. I think that just added to like the, the emotional level. Well, it gives you a reason of why she is the way that she is and has been for so long. Mm-hmm. And that's what's so great about Wanda I think that people are starting to like Wanda a lot more than certain other characters because she has so much depth to her there's like reason to it so now she's she's storming into sword headquarters and when Wanda is looking at um like the screen at like Hayward I thought it was really cool because she did that like when with the drone strike like she looked directly at him so that's where you can tell that she made a mistake the first time and the second time she's like I'm not making this mistake again Mm mm-hmm what do you want? <laughs> I hate Hayward. Stay out of my home. I hate him so much. And they've done such a good job at making us hate him. I think that's probably why, because they wanted to distract us from uh, Agatha. hating Agatha so much, because she's just as manipulative. She's just not as cut and dry. She's a little more like sinister about it, whereas mm-hmm. I think... Hayward is so dangerous because he's one of those villains who thinks that he, what he's doing is right. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. very obvious that he's anti-superhero. He's pro-Sokovia Accords, which, by the way, is incredibly racist. I don't think I've ever pointed this out before. That's so incredibly racist because they came up with that because of what Wanda did in Lagos, mm-hmm. if you think about it. Yeah. So just wanted to point that out because I stand Wanda so much. I know. I, I She's my favorite Avenger. She always has been. Ever since she was first introduced, I've always loved her. Also, Hayward, along with Agatha, also references Wanda's powers. Not everyone has the kind of power that could bring their soulmate back online. But how does everyone know what Wanda's powers is before Wanda herself does? Yeah, how does Hayward know? I understand Agatha knowing because she's been alive for thousands of years and is this ancient witch who has very similar powers. But like, how the hell does Hayward know this? He's like, how does he know that, that she can bring back the dead? She doesn't even know it. Yeah. Her so children what? know it too. Because when the dog died, they're like, you can bring it back. And Wanda's like, what are you talking about? 
Like li- everyone knows her powers except for Wanda. And I'm like, literally how? Unless she knows and she just doesn't want to acknowledge it. Or maybe it was like, like certain parts of her memory were a little like shaky because she didn't really remember exactly how she created the hex. And maybe it's something like that. She just doesn't really like remember it yet. Yeah, maybe. Well, she, I feel like she doesn't know her own strength because she's been somewhat self-aware this entire time. From the point where she drives into New Jersey, there's a blur because she has a complete mental breakdown, creates the hex, the hex is created, and then she's like pretty self-conscious and she's like, I did a thing. I, guess, so I feel yeah. like she just doesn't know her own strength. Yeah, that's, that's probably true as well. I know someone also in my comments was uh, suggesting that if Doctor Strange does show up, it might be for him to teach her to like control her emotions that way like something like this doesn't happen again where at least all this emotion kept building up and is what ultimately created yeah. this chaos because <laughs> it's not the first time mm-hmm. when wanda said i can't feel you i can't feel you to visions <laughs> i was dead by and- Years. I was, my face was drenched, dude. I'm not even. <laughs> it was drenched. I'm not, both times, both times. I, the second time I couldn't, I still couldn't. Like that and then her moment yeah. in New Jersey. Because like, it's like, it's direct opposite of uh, in Infinity War when she's like, I can feel you. And then right as she's about to like kill Vision, he says it to her too. Yeah. And now she's like, I can't feel you. And I was like, my heart. <laughs> you can't tell, but I'm actually starting to get kind of watery. I just thinking about it. <laughs> I, and I can't, uh, just so many emotions and so much is pain, so much is anger. So I, I honestly, I sympathize with Wanda. Yeah. Also, so much. Hayward doctored the footage. And he like, that's did. what I'm like, that. Fact like, alone the is- lengths that you had to go to to make her the villain. At this point, knowing what we know, she isn't necessarily a villain of the situation anymore. She's kind of just spontaneous. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't know what she's doing either. She wants to be happy. But the fact that he thought he did that and like was trying to use her to bring like Vision back online, like just those two facts, I'm just like, I like if you wanted me to hate him, like just putting that in there really did the trick. He also kept calling him the vision and he's been calling him the vision the entire show instead of by his name, which is just vision. <laughs> it's just vision. It's not the vision. Yeah. The vision you, is. You asked to see it. She's like, <laughs> I asked to see him. Oh yeah. It's right there. And we're completely taking him apart because we have absolutely no regard for anyone but ourselves because we want to have the biggest guns in the entire universe which totally makes us not threatening at all the dummy. vision is ha- was what he's called in the comics so i guess dummy, that was, might dummy, be like a dummy. nod or something so now that whole sword situation is over and wanda peacefully walks away like good for you girl i'm, I'm proud of you i was i, I kind of wanted the scene where she took his body but like i wanted her to destroy them yeah, but like I'm proud of her for like you know turning like walking away. Yeah. But so she's driving to Westview, and I still I had a thought because I forgot about this actually. We still don't know who that missing person mm-hmm. is who was in the witness protection program that was like residing in Westview. Mm-hmm. Also, is it just me or did Wanda give the people of Westview like a better life? And she literally gave the whole town like a makeover for the better. So I, to me, that was just like the situation that she finds herself in might not be like the best, you know, like it, well, it's, it's like, one extreme or the other. Or yeah. like, but I think it shows it is a, a, it looks better, but it ne- isn't necessarily better because they have no freedom over what they're doing. So if maybe she can figure out how to control her power, but also not control them and let them live independently while still changing a reality that is give or take better for them right yeah but i think it shows that like wanda like is not this villain that everyone is trying to like you know point her out to be like she still has like goodness in her and like her intent isn't to like you know cause these people harm she also did create these after the tv shows though and they make things look all nice and polished and pretty and so i feel it's not necessarily her 
so okay so you're saying that your face is drenched when um when wanda said i can't feel you but my face was drenched when i saw like the heart that the note that vision had and well, yeah, first, it just kept coming i know at first like i didn't understand exactly what it was and i and i read it again and i was like and, and then i was like here he's not there but his heart we've seen the heart two other times in the series on calendars in the first episode and in one of the i think episode seven um it's in the opening credits on a calendar so we've, <sighs> we've seen it before but also can we just can we just say Elizabeth Olsen is a queen <laughs> because this acting, actress. this acting was so amazing. And like, you can just really tell that like in this moment, Wanda has like nothing. Like she lost her brother, her parents, her lover. And like, she doesn't even have a house. It's, it's, it's literally just a foundation. It's not even a house that she can like go into and call her own. It's just the, the, the outline, the very, yeah. very rough outline. Yeah, like she literally, she, like she has, at this point, she has like nothing. nothing. No one. Yeah, and it's just like, and, like and that then she has like, sword against her, mm -hmm. which has to be beyond frustrating. Especially when she's trying to like, you know, do the right thing. She knows that they're, they're going to do something with it because that's what they do. Because mm -hmm. that's what they've always done. So sword is no different from shield. I don't support sword. That's the thing. And you, you see that right off the bat. You, you we don't have to go through that whole charade again because Monica both walked out. Also, I'm, I'm thinking, and I've been thinking this for a while, and it's probably obvious that Hayward lied to Monica by grounding her. Mm -hmm. Because oh, I yeah. feel like he's, he, for some reason, what if Hayward is Mephisto? Maybe. That's a possibility. I have two possibilities on that. It's because he knows a lot for the average Joe. And yeah. I get it. He didn't blip. Like, these are things that, like you said, Wanda doesn't even know her powers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monica probably <laughs> knows very bigly of them. It's like, how would he know? Because I, I think he somehow knows that she has powers and she's a threat. Yeah. Well, like you said, he he's pretty anti-hero. So if he got some whisper that, you know, Monica has some sort of, even if it is like some sort of vague powers, then he's not going to want her in charge. Uh, I know there's theories that he might be like a scroll. Like I haven't really figured out what Hayward is or if he's just a person who just thinks he's correct and will do anything to keep himself on top. I'd like to see. I hope in the finale that he and Agatha face off. Whether we get a revelation of what he is or who he is, I want to see them face off. And I want Agatha to win. And then we'll deal with Agatha afterwards. Yeah, what I think might go down is that like Vision will go against White Vision, uh, Wanda Anti Vision, which anti -vision. catalyst. And I I you didn't cataract? realize or cataract. Sorry, I didn't realize uh, what cataract meant until again I said it out loud. I went, oh, he's the anti Vision, anti Vision, cataract, no Vision, anti Vision. <laughs> so. Yeah, White Vision is also in the comics, which is basically um, something happened to the real Vision and they all try to bring him back. But because like the, the computer codes in his head are different than what the original Vision was, like his color is different and like his mannerisms are different. So, but I think we'll have those two visions against each other. Wanda and Agatha, obviously the two witches. Cause like what the MCU does is they always put like, people with similar powers like against each other mm -hmm. um and but like but then we have we have monica and uh, like and also like darcy who i think may try to take down the hex that they're inside of well monica is probably with fietro wherever yeah. he may be or whatever he may be doing yeah, uh, but if she like escapes or something. Darcy <laughs> is kind of MIA. Jimmy hasn't made it in yet. I'm wondering if Jimmy will ever make it into the hex. I don't I don't think so. Cuz like I think it has to be taken down. Like that's like the whole point of the end of the series is that like it's going to have to get resolved somehow. And because mm. Monica she either got her powers or her powers got enhanced by the hex, I feel like it might make sense if she's the one who's able to sort of like open it up maybe to others, you know? So 
I'm Speaking wondering what will happen when they take it down, if it'll open up well, other holes. Well, which... speaking of that, <laughs> okay, so Wanda obviously used herself to create the hex, and she used part of herself to create vision. Um, but I think, I think like this vision is still a part of this hex, because technically the hex is like an alternate reality itself, like a, like a dimension that is like in the pocket of like the earth dimension that like, you know, reality is as it should be. Um, and also when he gets, um, when he gets first created, his tie has hexes on it. So I think like, I, I, th I don't think this vision can survive out of this reality. What about the, 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 the twins? The twins? Because they're uh, the same thing. <laughs> I, I, I don't think. Want to think about it? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I don't think they're going to make it. I'm, I'm <laughs> just, just because in, in the comics, they don't make it either. And but then they, they do though later. Yeah. There was like a later comic where they, they come back or it's almost like a reincarnation type of situation. Oh, maybe. A well, speeding well, I think... Wiccan. What I think is going to happen is maybe something similar to the character of Gamora, where like she died, but then this alternate, you know, timeline yeah, version maybe. of her comes back. And what I think, I think that might be the vision that's created by Wanda uh, will not survive because if the hex gets taken down, I think he will have to go with the hex. But this white vision is literally vision put back together. It's just the gene codes are different. So I think maybe Wanda may try to pursue that vision and try to get him like back to being the vision that we all know and love. So what is she going to do about the Mind Stone though? Unless to, well, my, think... to my theory that she's an extension of the Mind Stone considering her power and considering she is the Scarlet Witch who is, to, to quote Agatha, capable of spontaneous creation. Because she's also a nexus being. So she's literally can do any reality. She is the ultimate being of like this reality too. Because each reality has their own like being. And so Earth has Wanda as that being. And the fact so. that she said she, oh my God. When she said you are the Scarlet Witch. <laughs> I have the same exact reaction that you did. Oh when she God. said like that was, that right there, like I was already having so many emotions. And then she's like, you're the Scarlet Witch. And I was like, finally, that makes they you the finally Scarlet Witch. said it. And I, I, just, I had a scream. It just had to come out. I would have exploded. Like my head, you would have seen my head just like explode on video if I didn't scream. I just had to let it all out. Ugh. That was so good though. Like, oh my God. See, they're really clever with that though, especially in the show. Like, mm -hmm. and just one thing I kind of want to know, at least within the last like couple of films and then this series, Marvel's really upped their quality game. Because, mm -hmm. like, you look at the earlier Marvel films and they're, like, still really cheesy. Like, even Age of Ultron is super cheesy. What the pinnacle was, where it, like, took a complete turnaround. It might have been Civil War. Yeah. Well, I think, I think it, it got a Civil little bit War. more serious. Yeah. Because, like, there's this whole thing where it's, like, DC's like the dark superheroes and Marvel's just like the uh, action packed superheroes. But I think and we like, make jokes and quip at each other and oh, it's so funny. Yeah, but I think with like just like the, you know, all the context for Civil War, like Civil War had two pretty big morality issues to deal with. Yeah. And so I think like, you know, it's not like super dark like DC, but like you have, I think you have like, a, they found a nice balance, I think. Also, at the end of this episode, did you notice when Agatha using her magic, her fingers are, they turn black? Sort of magic like, black. well, sort of also like, like the magic is slowly like degrading her body. And that might also be a reason as to why she has to keep absorbing other people's like powers and energy. I feel like it, it hasn't been confirmed why Agatha wants this power. Like, what does she want to do with it? You know? We'll probably get that in the last episode. I kind of hope, though, that she doesn't die. So I'm wondering if they'll continue, like, these villains, whether it's Hayward or or Agatha, or if they introduce Mephisto to be the villain of uh, Multiverse of Madness. The questions that have been answered so far in the series, 
is how do the hex form? Uh, was Vision alive or heard or not? <laughs> Who was Agnes? Why the sitcoms? And what was Hayward up to? But I feel like there's still a couple of like nitpicky nuances that haven't been answered. Like I'm still confused on the whole like children situation because they made it such a big deal. But now we're getting we're getting it explained that like 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 whoever was just in the town is stuck in the town. So like what happened to the children and why did they only show up like three quarters of the way through the series? You know. True. So and there's just a little other like little minuscule things that I feel like haven't exactly been totally answered. It's an hour long episode, so hopefully we'll get those questions answered. That's true. Yeah. And a couple of ties into the future. True. I wonder if we're going to have another uh, end credit scene uh, at the end of this, of the last episode. Probably. I'm like, ner- I'm so nervous just talking I'm about it. I'm not ready. I'm not considering how I felt with this episode and like, these are all flashbacks. These are already things that happened. I'm not ready. So I've gone, I've gone over all of my points. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? I don't think so. I think I, I ended up pointing all of them out. Well, that's all we have for you today, guys. Thank you for listening to our thoughts. If you have your own, if you agree or disagree with anything we're saying, put it down in the comments. But for now, you can like, comment, and subscribe for weekly videos. And I will see you guys next time. Scarlet Witch. Ah! <laughs>